Hello, my soccer universe. To the preview of match day five of the Nations League. And today I'm wearing Russia because if they had one more spot, Russia would be on there. So I decided, yeah, why not? And I also have a red undershirt. So it's fitting. It's the 2008 Russia jersey. Uh, I changed the background a little bit. Uh, first of all, I sorted the Nations by their chances of actually winning the Nations League. Uh, which most notably changes Portugal and Spain because uh, France and Portugal are the same group. And then there's some a little bit changes back there as well. Um, there's a lot of white up there because this time I said I'll make it a twist. The last time for the Euro qualifiers, I decided to take all the jerseys, the most recent jerseys um, that were released for that particular national team. This time around, I said I'm going to put up the first jersey that I owned of that nation, which probably will tell you a little bit when I got the jersey, although not entirely, because this Germany jersey I got, for instance, after the Belgium jersey up here. But, you know, uh, a little bit, a little bit it tells the story. Um, also, want to note, it is not the oldest jersey, uh, or, you know, the complete opposite is the first one that I got, which is notable because it changes this England jersey, because I have a 2010 away jersey. And it changes the Netherlands churches because of a 98, uh, which I also got a little bit recent, more recently. Anyway, uh, before we look at the games that we'll have, let's see where things stand in all of the leagues that we can actually a little bit get a more of a feel for the games. Uh, group A1, we actually have uh, quite the interesting stand with Poland now suddenly in first place ahead of the it uh, it Italy and the Netherlands and we already see reaching the final four uh, is really tough for the Netherlands uh, Poland and Italy digging it out there in group A2 uh, Belgium is now leading and very highly favored they have also by far the highest rating of any nation in there although France is maybe not too far off but uh, those two are kind of separated from the rest. Speaking of France, Portugal and France, dead set on a death match, if you like. <laughs> Who know, it's not a death match, it's maybe it's basically who will win and go forward to. Uh, and then in group A4 it's also rel relatively open because Ukraine is still in the running there. Switzerland looking uh, bad here because although they got a draw against Germany, the Ukraine beat Spain, which put uh, the Swiss in trouble. Uh, then in League B, um, there's uh, also a two-way battle between Austria and Norway to get promoted into League A. Uh, Scotland, who not only have not qualified, but they also look pretty well set to join in League A. And I think it's all down to Corona trouble for the Czechs. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the Scots will do in League A. Uh, in Group B3, there's another surprise. Serbia is really working very 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 hard to be relegated uh, they have pay they still have a little chance of prom promotion but their odds on of getting re relegated despite hungry re um, rated below them and wales and finland go for the top spots and um unfortunately i have some family relations there bulgaria is about to get relegated in league c uh luxembourg and montenegro uh Taking it out, uh, I think Lux uh, there was something that Luxembourg uh, beat Montenegro, yeah? uh, not to they have the head to head, so that makes that group uh, interesting. Still, Montenegro is a little is higher rated, so that's why they are still favored. North Macedonia, Georgia, there was something, yep, but they already played twice. That's all a very very tight tight group. Armenia could maybe get in there. Um, Slovenia and Greece for top spot in C3 uh, with Greece dropping points. It's Slovenia who looks now in pole position. And then a uh, very, very, very open group where everyone can go anywhere. But it's uh, Belarus and Albania that are favored. Uh, for the relegation properties, I forgot previously always to uh, take take a card that has actually played down. They will rank the last place teams um, and then the best place team uh, plays against the worst place team home game and then uh, two against three. So therefore, these now reflect the relegation probabilities a lot more accurately, which are more or less, not quite, uh, having if it was just going straight down. And then who will go up from League D? The Fairy Islands are almost there and Gibraltar also looking rather strong with two games left to play. Um, I think if they win the next one, they're already through and similar goes for the Fairy Islands. So 
Before we look at the matches, let's also look forward. I showed you in League A who will make it into the final four, but also we want to know who will win the whole thing. And it is Belgium is the top favorite, we, who are rated most highly, and they also have the most likely going into the final four of all the other teams. Uh, Note France is maybe a little bit further down due to them only having a coin flip. They're not as likely um, as um, Belgium to go in, otherwise they would be very comparable. And Spain is ahead of Port Portugal now, so the two are flip-flopping. And also see how close Italy and Poland are, and Germany is also in there. There are only three that are disqualified and I sorted them in the current nation standings, that's Croatia, Sweden and Ireland. So even Bosnia and Switzerland, although having very, very little chances, have still a chance going in. So with all that, now we know where we are, now we can actually um, get a better feel of what games to watch. And on Saturday, I mean, we know that A4 is a rather open group in Germany. Ukraine is probably a big matchup, but I think everyone will look at Portugal for us. There is just no two ways about it. Uh, Sweden, Croatia probably will already be, could be a decider for who gets re re relegated. Uh, Croatians get a result against Sweden. Um, the League C matchup, this is the uh, dogfight between Montenegro and Luxembourg. Maybe Luxembourg having a slightly easier draw, we'll see. San Marino, Gibraltar, it's an early one. Um, if Gibraltar wins, they're through. And same goes for six, La La Latvia, Ferry Islands, but both have to play away from home. San Marino had a pretty good showing in Liechtenstein, but I still would favor Gibraltar here. Then let's go the other League A games. I think Italy, Poland and Belgium, England are two to watch. Absolutely, 100%. 100%. Italy, Poland goes totally for... Uh, it's basically decide, could decide who goes further. I mean, it is a must win for Italy if they want to become first. And for Poland, if they win, they basically made a big dent there. And Belgium, England also, I mean, um, England needs that win. Belgium just probably can, can live with a draw and uh, given that Denmark will probably get three points, goes a long way of deciding there. Um, so those are the Sunday League A matches. In League B, I think there are quite some interesting ones as well. Um, you know, Slovakia, Scotland, uh, Scots, Scotland can book their place there. Uh, Wales, Ireland would be with Spex, Spex, sounds some good. I think Turkey, Russia is asleep and hung, hung, hungry Serbia. Um, of course, I will also focus a little bit on Austria, although I probably will have it at most as like Austria, Northern Ireland. If Romania gets a point against Norway, at least, then Austria can already book their place in League A which would be great for them. And then, yeah, I give you here the League C matches. Uh, they are choose uh, if you like any of these. So this is what's up in the Nations League for the upcoming weekend. I will do probably a review video Monday, which will probably come Euro Europe time a little bit late on Monday. But, you know, uh, it, it, will, it will be there and then we'll know a whole lot more. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, drop a line below which games you will be watching. Uh, and yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel because it will keep you updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.